What's up everyone, my name is Nagark. Welcome back to Monster Battle Tactics. We're gonna hop right back in to number 14, I think it was. Pretty sure. Uh, strong opinions. Mobile walls were one of the greatest inventions of Ludus. They made it easy to quickly and painlessly claim new land in the extremely hostile environment. First heavily armored knights cleared the area of the savage wildlife. There's supposed to be a, power, a, a period right there. Afterward, another group moved the walls around in order to expand the safe zone. Thankfully, Sky Gods never bothered to steal mobile walls from the surface. They always made their own. Um, okay, so I've got to kill these nerds. And these nerds. Eh, shouldn't be too hard. Um, what happens if I... Wonder. Let's try to... I, I usually go with the strategy that I'm going to lose the first time, and I'm fine with that. That's usually my strat, is lose the first one, uh, win the rest. So we don't want you being able to get hit here, so that will be coming over here. If I strong arm one side, this is going to go fine. And move you back. He's still getting hit there, so let's pull on back there. Yeah. Looks good. Oh, hi. You're going for that one, huh? That was unexpected. But we will move you, move you. And yeah, that's fine. Because we want to pull you up, attack you. I can... I might be able to just brute force all of these guys, to be honest. You're gonna go and attack him, which means that I might want to actually move you over here. Yeah, because he isn't gonna die. Bump you over this way. Move you on up. And we can do one damage to him. Oh, no, not, not right there. <laughs> that would have been a silly, silly way to go. Yeah, we'll just bump everything around. I can't end my turn on that, though. That part is a little bit iffy. Oh, you didn't do what I wanted you to do. Kill you. Come on over. Come on over. He's going to go right there. What if I actually bring him right here? He's still gonna go for that one. Um, acceptable? Yeah, this is acceptable. Yeah, I think this one they just give me way, way, way too many options. Because I feel like I'm not really having to try very hard to actually kill these guys. Yeah, I'm not having to try hard at all to, to kill these guys. There we go. That one... Yeah, okay. Next mission, sure. Jesters. On Ludus, besides monsters and humans, there were also wild animals. Very savage and very dangerous. They all had very sharp claws and fangs, often venomous. Every single one of them would try to kill any human or monster on sight. All with one exception, horses. It is unknown exactly why horses were so peaceful, but one analyst that's not how you spell analyst has noticed that the animals had never been mentioned in any book before the first invasion. It might be that sky gods brought horses with them with with them. So, okay. You can go there, so we will put you like this. These guys have 2 defense, 5 health, so let's see, 3... So, yeah, I need all 3 of them to hit. Just like that. Oh, ne never mind, not just, not just like that. The, yeah, what... what even? Hold on. What happened here? You weren't supposed to move, okay. 
So he's gonna move... Oh, they're both gonna move down now. Um... It's not exactly what I had in mind. What if I... Okay. Is that a fake wall? That's not a fake wall. It just looks like a fake wall. Bump you over here, then you would get attacked. Right there... You still want to move down. I'm trying to not make him move down. But I also don't want my people getting attacked. Um... My people. My... my monsters. Well, let's see. They do five attacks, so yeah, they'll one-shot these guys. Not right there, right, right there. Um, now let's bring all of this back. You want to go down there. You're going to come over here. No, more like over here. And you want to come up here. You're going to come right there, something like this. And then we are going to go for the swarm play. How much can you move? Three? One, two, three. Okay. Moving on up. And you're going to move right there, and you're going to move down one, so he won't be able to... Actually, he's going to go right there, so we'll move over one like that. You're gonna get smacked like the nerd you are. Come over here, hit, 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 hit. Oh, I thought he was gonna die and he totally did not die. All right, um, hit and hit, still didn't die. Yeah, I messed this one up. Whoop, all the way to, back to the beginning. So you come down, you- actually all of you come down. <laughs> all of you gather up. Because the horses are gonna get to us first, right? Like... Actually, yeah, we don't even want to do it quite like that. Because we want to take out one of these, like, right away. I think. I think we want to take out one of them right away. I think that's going to be a good course of action. Getting rid of one of these because it's going to be like one killed every turn. Bring in the reinforcements. So what if you go over here and kill him off? Okay, this might work out. Maybe. You can't quite get to the top of him. You can come down, and we can kill him off. And then once he moves in for an attack, we'll be able to kill him. And so we bump over, bump up, there we go. Pretty good. Got that one. Next mission. Aha! Raw power. Many invasions ago, there was a clan of minotaurs. They studied annals, trying to find any hints of possible weaknesses sky gods could have. They trained hard to be masters of the axe. They devised a plan to kill their oppressors once and for all. It was a perfect plan with a tiny exception. When the time came and they tried to attack sky gods, they realized that the gods don't really have any physical bodies. They got laughed at, and thus commenced the biggest and longest battle ever with a thousand minotaurs fighting a lone archer just outside of range of their weapons. Well, that doesn't really make sense for this. So let's see, four attack, so you... we would need four more attack on that. Six attack, we would need two more attack on that. Um... You would end, like, right on the edge. I'm just gonna start moving some things up and see what happens. Just gonna move some things up and see what happens. 
Pretty good. Good start. Okay. So. I could get him to one hit point, which is not exactly what I want, but I can get him stunned there and take him out. Which is kind of what I want. Hmm, yeah, that's not, not fully what I had planned. Am I fine with him getting attacked? Let's see. Nope, stop. No, because they're gonna get one shot. You won't get one shot, so let's... Bump you over. No, they're all gonna want to attack the Minotaur because they can actually kill it, and... That's no good. Uh, let's see. Move you up. No, they're gonna tear through me right there. What if I move like this? One of you at a time. Well, no, right there he's gonna get his free shot, and I don't want him getting a free shot on me. Then you move up like this. So these minotaurs are gonna take out these guys because they're gonna be dumb and they're gonna land on these, these web traps, right? These do eight damage. Who? What if... I think I see, okay. This will be interesting. <laughs> okay, so he's blocking the way for them. Attack, and attack. You're gonna head up over here. Attack, and attack. And then we will move you back, move you up. Right, they don't one-shot these guys. So you're dead. What if I move you this way? Something like this. So you're dead. Yeah, he can just block the way forever. As we get the flank over here. You still can't attack me. If I run away, can he catch up? He cannot catch up. It'll give me a bit of a disadvantage because this guy will start getting flanked, but, um... Might not be that bad. So if I come over here, come over here... Yeah, you're not going to be flanked yet. I'll move you right there. So he'll get attacked, he'll get attacked, and he will move down. Then I can do this. Deuteroni. Nice. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much the game. I've just got to actually kill him. Like that. Nice. Do, 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 do. Keep me safe. Ludusians. Ludusians, okay. Ludusians scientists have once recovered a brain from an island. They covertly threw it off the edge into a river while the island was hovering low. Freaked out, they found out the brain breathed through the pores in its skin. Then they attempted to cut it open to see the its internal structure, but the moment a knife penetrated its skin, the brain exploded into a puff of red steam. I'm not allowed to lose the brain. Alright. So... This'll be an interesting one. I think we need to move... You guys in. I think we want to do something like this, right? Uh, what happens if we do this? Mm, 
not good things, I think. So these guys have an attack of four, wow. They're almost as strong as the cavalry, but about a billion times weaker. So do I move up with a Minotaur to kill them? Maybe. But I can't kill one of these straight out. It has to be... It has to be reinforced with one of these. Which I can't do on that side. But I can send these guys as reinforcement on the top and the right. Yeah, let's see how this goes. That Minotaur is dead. That Minotaur is dead, and that Minotaur is dead. So, yeah, that's pretty much... ...game. I can't do a whole lot about that. I mean... Yeah, no, I have to- I have to not lose that many Minotaurs that fast. What is your movement range? Something like that. So we definitely want to pull back in the Minotaurs. So they aren't getting smacked. Nope. Don't do that. And I think we want to cover them up as well. And then... You're gonna go right there, which isn't in range of the Minotaur. Something like this? Pull you over here, pull you over here. Is this right? Maybe. It gets a little bit confusing because some- the targeting gets, um... It gets, uh... I'm trying to think of how to say it. It gets... Confused a bit, because if multiple things target one of the things, you know what I mean. This is an issue. See, I can't attack on both sides. Like I was hoping. See, I was hoping a slime would be able to go in, so let's pull this back. Maybe... maybe these guys can be one further out. So like, you come here, you come here and here. Here and here. Here and here, and here, and here. Is that right? It's just easier for me to see it if they go on their own. Because I need to be able to hit from, like, this side, and that side. And then this side, and that side. These guys have three health, these guys have four attacks, so they will die. He can't reach the brain. Actually, he will be able to. So I have to cover that up. And then... Because what's gonna happen is this guy is gonna come up and he's gonna punch this. And he's gonna take out the Minotaur. So we will come be prepared for that. Yeah. And then we will move over like that. And it's as easy as killing you like that. Moving over here, getting ready to deal with him, and punching this guy in the mouth. Cool. I got it. Just this one little vagabond. There we go. I don't know, can I do the last two in, in this part? Oh, it's the last three, so I'm gonna wrap it up right there. It's a little bit short, but uh, we'll, we'll continue in the next one. My name's Nigark, this is Monstro Battle Tactics, and thank you for watching.